I failed Eclex four good times. Like, but please, guys, I'm just here to encourage you. Please, don't let go. Do not let go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Aija with another video. If this is your first time watching me, I'm happy that you're here. We are excited that you're part of us. You're here to watch this video. Now, this is a video that I need you to watch. I need you to share this video. I need you to like this video. I need you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I need you to thumbs this video up as well. Now, this is something that you may not need, but somebody else needs it. So the more you share, the more somebody will lay their hand on this video and the more they can easily get the information apply it and be able to make a difference in your life so I need you to share this video please guys share 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 as much as possible share to everybody on your whatsapp on your Facebook on your whatever social media you want to share it on you are free to share this video thank you so much for sharing this video and I do hope that this video is going to bless your heart I hope that this video is going to encourage you Now, I made a video in the past about how I passed NCLEX, how I failed NCLEX, and how I did pass, and some steps in which you can take in order to make it through the NCLEX exam. Now, this video is a whole lot different. Now, I decided to do this video because I was talking to somebody earlier on yesterday in church, and she said something that really touched me, and I decided, I'm like, you know what, IJ, you have to do this video because somebody out there needs to hear this. Somebody out there needs an encouragement, and somebody out there needs this video in order to make it in this particular NCLEX exam. I know there are many people who have seen, like, we've seen, watched different NCLEX videos, and most of those videos are not on how they failed NCLEX. Now, I'm here to tell you, me, IJ, I failed NCLEX four good times, like four times. I wrote it the first time I didn't pass, the second time I did not pass, the third time I did not pass, the fourth time I did not pass. It was the on the fifth trial that I passed this exam. Now, I'm not ashamed of that. I'm here to encourage you. The fact that you've written NCLEX a couple of times should not cause you to feel down. It should not make you feel depressed. It's not an exam that is a test of knowledge. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean you are dull, like how we say you back home. It doesn't mean you're not intelligent. No, it's not that kind of exam. NCLEX is different. So please do not feel any you know, any kind of way, if you've written it a couple of times and did not pass. If I was able to write this exam and I make it through, you can make it through. Like seriously, that is how important this video is. So I need you guys to share this video because this is an encouragement to somebody who truly needs it. I know there are many people out there who have written this exam many times that did not make it and they decided to switch professions just because they just could not go through it. But I'm telling you, if I could do it, you can do it like seriously now for those of you who do not know me i am actually um i lived in the caribbean for a very long time and that's where i did nursing that's where i um i studied nursing so i finished there and i was able i got the opportunity to practice in the caribbean in st kitts precisely for those ways all my st kitts people in the house i needed to give me a shout out down in the comment section if you're from st kitts watching this video i needed to shout out because i know you know me IJ. So yes, yeah, so I was in the Caribbean for X amount of years and I was opportune to practice as a nurse for about three years before I moved here to the US. And you know, the um, Caribbean standard and UK standard is quite different. When you come over here, you have to send your documents to different evaluation um, organizations or institutions for them to evaluate it so that you know if you are eligible to take the NCLEX exam. So what I did was when I came, I took, I, you know, I went to the CGFNS, that was the um, board I went to. I went to the CGFNS um, website and I checked all the requirements that I needed for an evaluation to be done on my credentials from the, from the island. So I gathered all the things that I needed, gathered everything. You can check on that website, cgfns.org. Yes, it's .org or .edu. 
I'll check and I'll leave the information on the screen. So that was where I sent my documents. It took almost four to six months and I paid about $300 if I'm not mistaken or maybe more for them to evaluate my document. It took about four to six months. So once I got the evaluation and they said I was eligible to take the exam, that's when I decided to register for the exam. But before I registered, I started studying. Now, for those of you who know, when I came here, I was pregnant already. Now, so it was so hard for me not really like hard because by that between that time that it, my documents were evaluated right up to when i was ready to take the exam i already had the baby i had my first child now it was so hard to study with the baby for this exam and worst of all my husband wasn't around he was back and forth between here in michigan and back in chicago so most of the times i was always by myself with the baby so it was very hard for me to juggle taking care of the baby taking care of myself and also studying so that was one daily mat that was one problem that i had that i could not really sit down and concentrate i know being a first time mom you have other things going through in your mind how you're going to take care of this baby how you know Different stuff just go through your mind during that process. And then not long ago, I was pregnant again for the second baby. So it was like very, very hard. You know, so in between two years, I was I wrote that exam and I did not pass. I tried different options, tried, I read books, I went to um to to people, to tutoring classes, just to, you know, just to get my hands on what I'm supposed to do in order to pass this exam, but I didn't stay making. But one problem that, one thing that I identified was the problem was because I did not know the content. If you did not study here in America, or if you do not go to any of um, these American schools where you're being taught on how to take NCLEX, like the test taking strategy, then you need to study in order to take this exam. It's not one of those exams where you can just be like, okay, I can just, you know, just go there. I know NCLEX. I, I mean, I know nursing, so I'm just going to pass. That was, that was my biggest problem. I thought I knew. Seriously, I thought I knew, but I did not make it. I thought I knew because my head be this swell because I feel I know everything for lesson, but that wasn't the case. So when I took it the first time, I did not pass. I knew that I was watching because even when I finished the exam, you ask me any question, I won't be able to tell you. That's how much I knew I was watching for that exam. I did not really read the questions before choosing or selecting my answer. I was just watching and breezing through the questions. So if you come out from that exam and you cannot remember any question, just know you were watching, like seriously, you were just running, just running. And then the second time when I took it, I didn't still pass because I did not still study. Now, the second time when I took it, I realized that it wasn't even the running or me just watching through the exams. Yes, I was watching, but the second part now, or my second issue was that I did not know the content. Now, it's very important in this exam for you to know the content. American standards or maybe and where you're coming from or if you're coming from the Caribbean or maybe from some other African country, it's different. Like seriously, it is different. So you have to go through the textbook. The textbook that I use and I've said it in my other video, I'm going to link that video somewhere on the screen just so that you can click on it in order to watch it. Um, the textbook that I used was the Sounders NCLEX review book. I've given mine out. I could have shown you guys the one that I was using. But I'm going to leave a picture of the book on the screen just so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the book I used. I was just answering the questions at the back of the book. I didn't really sit down to read the information. And you need to read that information, guys. You cannot just breeze through that book like that. Like, seriously. You need to read through the information. So I went the second time. I did not still pass. I was wondering what was my problem. I, was, I mean, I don't know if it was time. Because I was actually cut off with time. I answered about 200 or something questions. And I was cut off at some point. That was the second time. The, sec the third time I took the exam the same problem i was cut off at about 200 and some and 200 and something questions and i did not still make it third time the same thing now the fourth time that i wrote the exam that was when i decided to really sit down and read 
through this NCLEX textbook. So I'm not here to tell you guys how I passed the exam because I've already done the video on it and how you can pass the exam. I'm so I'm so excited because one of you guys were able to watch the video. You took some of those things to heart and she was able to pass. She left a comment on on the need or beneath that video. I'm going to link that video on this screen so you know exactly what I'm talking about. She went through the exam. She went through that video. She went and studied and she was able to pass. And I was just I'm just so excited for her and thank you so much for letting me know that that video was something that helped you i'm really really so excited for you i'm here to say if you've written the exams how many times three times four times five times that should not be a discouraging something or discouraging aspect no instead that should encourage you like seriously if i wrote that exam four good times and i did not pass if you written it five six times that does not mean if you still have an opportunity to take it because one thing with nclex you can take it as many times as possible at some point they may ask you to do a review course just go ahead and do the review course if you have to do the review course but dropping this exam just to switch profession just because because you could not make it in an exam that is not an excuse people like seriously that is not an excuse put your put yourself down it would take you a month or two if you if that's all you need to sacrifice in order to pass this exam that's not going to take an inch out of you all it's going to take is maybe some time that you were supposed to spend with a friend or maybe partying or something that's all it's going to take out of you and that's and compared to what you're going to get at the end of the day it's like it's almost nothing like seriously guys put yourself down study for this exam and you'll be able to make it i'm just here to say if you failed it before that should not be a discouraging something but it should be an encouraging something for you please do not let go of this exam because there is so much in the nursing field that you can enjoy that can satisfy you so please do not drop it do not leave it and you switch maybe you can think that nursing is not for you that's why you're feeling have you thought about the fact that you know there is there is this statement that i always make i'm like if you try something many times and you find um a block that means you need to push forward because if you're a christian like like i the devil will not sit back and watch you succeed no he will not sit back and watch you succeed. He will try to stop you at every point. So that is how I look at it. I feel like this is something that I'm supposed to do, but the devil is just stopping me from achieving it. That's how I look at it. I don't know how you want to look at it in order to encourage yourself, but that's how I look at it. Maybe this can be something to encourage you, and I really pray something that's going to encourage you so that you can put yourself back up, sit up, Put your head back up. You went to school for how many years just to make it through? You cannot leave it at this point. You cannot abandon it at this point. So I'm here to encourage you, my brother, my sister, you can make it through. The fact that you have failing before, you, 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 you failed before does not mean you cannot make it. All you need to do, sacrifice two months, three months, and boy, tell me. You will tell me that I, I made it through. That's all you need. Forget about all these outside distractions. It's just there to distract you. Just put yourself together. What I said in my previous video, I had to go to a friend's place for two good weeks. I left my kids and my husband. It's not like I didn't like, I didn't want to spend time with them. I knew what I wanted and I had to do what I had to do in order to make it through. So I'm just here to encourage you. I failed it four times, I went the fifth time and I passed. If you failed it one, two times and you think that's not enough, please, you haven't even started. There are many people that are out there who have failed it more than that and they still went and they were able to make it through. So please do not discourage yourself. Instead, find something to encourage yourself and you will make it through. I really do wish each and every one of you the best in this exam because I want to see all of us making it through. I want to see all of us succeeding. It fills my heart, it warms my heart when I know that people are doing well. But please guys, I'm just here to encourage you. Please, don't let go. Do not let go. That might just be where your blessing is at. Who guarantees you that if you start another profession today, you're going to make it through? Who guarantees you that what which you start next, you're going to make it through? So at the end of the day, you're not even so sure. But please, do not let go of NCLEX just because you have failed it one, two, three times. No, there are many people out there who have failed it more than four times. 
the many people who have written it more than five, six times and they are still pushing. So please encourage yourself, find something to encourage yourself and you will definitely make it through. I hope this video was able to encourage you. I hope it's something that um, you learn from and uh, just encourage yourself. If you need me to do any other video on NCLEX, please just let me know. Hit me in the comment section and um, I'll definitely do that for you. Anything that will make you succeed, anything that will make you prosper in this life, I'm here with you. So please do not feel alone, do not feel lonely. I'm here for you. We are here together as a family and to encourage each other. Thank you so much for watching this video and please do not forget to share this video. Do not forget to like this video and do not forget to hit me up with 20 comments down in the comment section below. I don't know how you're the corner, but anyway, just let me know how encouraging this um, video was to you. And um, I will talk to you guys in my next video. And remember that you are the original. Like seriously, I say this all the time. There is no counterfeit of you. You go to wherever, whichever country, they will find nobody like you. They may look like you, but they are, but they are not you at the end of the day. That's why I say you are the unique. You are different. So be yourself, love yourself, and encourage yourself, and take that exam again, and you're going to make it. I join my faith with you, and I know you will make it this time. Thank you for watching, and take good care of yourself, and ciao. Peace out.